Hello again, everybody. So we are actually starting a little bit early. Um, a change of plan. So we are actually going to start working on Marius' car today. You, obviously, that's a very, very nice color. Love the color. So this is a EcoBoost Premium. It's actually got 310 stock horsepower to it. It is a 2.3 liter uh, with the turbo on it. We're actually going to go through and uh, uh, pop the hood here so you can actually see the engine bay and all that stuff. But we are joined by Marius and Caitlin here. Uh, Caitlin, Hi guys. we're going to go through and uh, link Caitlin's channel in the description and then we're going to go through and uh, obviously hit the bell notification for everything else too. But we're going to go through and get the car jacked up. They just drove all the way here so we are going to put a fan on the stuff to cool it down and then we're going to do an unboxing here in a moment. But uh, First off, let's go through and flip this around so you can see the engine. Okay, so this is his engine setup right now. Basically, he's got the turbo down here, which is a kind of a smaller one. We're not doing anything with that yet. We might eventually, but um, we're gonna go through and do an unboxing here in a second. You'll see what we actually got, but obviously he's got the blue and black combo with his wheels and just beautiful, beautiful car. So anyways, let's get this started. Okay, so this is the parts that we actually got. We got him a handheld tuner, we got the cold air intake, and then we actually did get a uh, uh, exhaust system that's actually a catback system that's actually gonna be re replacing most of his existing. Um, we're gonna go through and have him do some unboxing right now, so go ahead and grab your tuner. Let's open that up. Obviously done by Cobb. Actually one of the best that we can get for tuners for his vehicle. <laughs> nice okay so uh, that's gonna mount inside of the, the vehicle inside of the cab to where he can adjust it on the fly that was the whole point of getting this specific one to where it wasn't a permanent tune and he had the full range of motion with it there's some extra stuff there we'll yeah. that. cool and then go ahead and open up the accessories I think that should be the mount for where we're gonna be putting it The mount, it should be the mount in the wire itself to actually plug it in. Yep, that's the mount. So it just basically clips into the back of the, the tuner itself, and then it's basically going to stick to your dash. Very cool. So very, very simple. And that's why I was saying this is actually for the OBD2 port to where if you need to ever take it in, you can just unplug it and you're good. So cool. Okay, so now we're going to go through and open up the other stuff too. Um, we're going to lay that down and then we'll do a, a review afterwards. Okay, so we got the K&N unbox, we've got the actual filter over there, we've got the actual air intake tube itself, and then we've got the shroud that's going to go around it. We've got the rubber gasket that's going to go around the shroud to create a barrier, or a seal rather, and then we've got the actual components to build this. So we're going to go through and put this together. After we put it together, we're going to go through and take his existing factory one off of the car, which, just to go over that real quick, we've got a couple of mounting points. That's gonna be right here. And then we've got, I believe there's another one down here on the side somewhere, which we're gonna find it here in a moment, but we're gonna take that off. And then there's some uh, hose clamps for his existing system that we gotta to have to actually take off. Um, once we get that done, shouldn't be too long, but we'll get it done. Hey, what's up guys? Trey's gonna be dismounting the current filter area. Not too sure what these things are called so I won't be speaking much. This is the air intake. This 
has the locking pins in it. Mine doesn't have that. Oh, it's stuck on there. From the factory. There we go. There we go. We got that one done. Let's take this sensor off. Just, these are sensors. Never even knew I had a sensor on my. So that sensor is disconnected. That is probably going to have to come out of this and go into the new, the new inlet. And then let's. So the way that your factory one is, it sits up in the grill to where it's pulling the air in, but then you have the restrictive plate that's right there. So if you open the other one, it's going to still do the same tunnel aspect, but it's going to have more of a filter pot here, so it's actually going to be able to use more air. I'm excited. They didn't even know that looked that way. <laughs> that's how novice cut this I am. It's all good. Got to start somewhere. So now. Trey is using a pretty cool gadget tool that he found in his garage. <laughs> Don't really know what it is, but it's a clamp. There we go. So we're going to be uh, taking this bad boy off and we'll be back soon. Okay, so we got those hose clamps finally undone. Now we got everything out of the car. Now we got to go through and assemble the new one to get it put into its place. Okay, so now we are moving on to the exhaust. We're going to go through and take out the old system. You can see how monstrous these silencers are. It barely fits in the frame. And then he's got the old basically the stainless tips that are on here which the new ones are actually a Magnaflow system and they're chrome tips and they're gonna look sharp but we gotta go through and take this old system out first we're gonna have to cut them off um, at a certain point which we're gonna measure up here in a moment and then once we get that all figured out then we'll show you guys the aftermath okay let's go for it sound test rev it Go for it. Go for it. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> nice. It's so much better, isn't it? I'll never go back. And dude, now, now we got, let's let's show this real quick. We got the, the tuner. Yep, right, right here. Mounted. We got it showing. It's clocking about 306 roughly. Yeah, that's awesome. That's sick. I, I'm so impressed. <laughs> 
That's so cool. So cool. Now, what do you think? I love it. Are we glad we did it? Yes. That's it's, awesome. It's very cool. I was a little bit hesitant and unsure, but it's very cool. And look how happy the sky is over here. <laughs> So awesome. Very so awesome. Woo -woo. Hey -o. Okay, now we're gonna go through and we're also gonna link all the parts in the description as well. Um, we are going to, obviously it was a K&N cold air intake. It was a Magnaflow uh, axle back exhaust system and then we have the Cobb tuner. Um, we are having some other, yeah, stay tuned. We do have some other parts coming. Those are the ones that are still coming in from California like I've been saying. What, what? But we are still waiting for a shipment notification but as of right now, Look at that color and that light right there. Mm, love that blue. That's so awesome. Looks so good. So good. Anyways, we're going to stop the video here and we'll get, keep you guys posted on the rest of the stuff. Who be louder? Right now? Oh. I don't really really know if I want to be like standing here because it's gonna be freaking loud oh man I'm gonna move out of the way I still think yours. Trey's is louder, but yours sounds different. Yeah, because again, your turbo is taking some of that 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 sound and recycling it back to the engine. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so I gotta go change. So, cool, cool. Stop sign. <laughs> 